I don't know if you can hear the sound that sounds like a bag. Cat literally waits until I'm filming to play with that toy. Also till I'm sleeping. Hi, Helen. How you doing? What's up, Meeks? Yeah, I'm gonna be an old lady. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to the Half Ass Homestead. My name is Angie, and today we're planting celery seeds. Celery is a first time crop for me. You're supposed to start your seeds eight to 12 weeks out. Um, they, we dedicated a two foot wide by five foot long section of our garden to celery, which will yield 10 to 12 plants. Um, so I'm starting 15 today in hopes uh, 12 germinate. I'm going to do two in each, but if we have some extra to sell, fine, whatever. Um, so we're going to be doing that. Um, I have a shoestring gardening hack. And we're going to talk a little bit about the chicken crisis. Um, we're not going to get too terribly in depth. I'm just going to go over our plans for 2023. The instructions on planting celery, which I am using the giant red from um, Baker Creek, is basically just to surface sow and um, gently press them into the soil. Start 8 to 12 weeks prior to last frost, um, which we're at 12 weeks right now. I want my garden to be off to a good start by the time. Sometimes I don't plant right on time either, so. I like them plants to be a little bit um, bigger. Anyways, I'm going to stick two celery seeds per cell. Um, I'm gonna do my best at trying to space them out. We'll see how that is. Um, since what I'm doing isn't very exciting, I kinda wanna talk a little bit about um, chicks and chickens and the chicken shortage. Um, I've always, now I have raised chickens uh, basically my entire life. Um, we started chicks when I was really little. Um, so that's all I've really ever known is having chickens and I know you have to order them early to get the varieties that you want and normally, normally, I will order from Murray McMurray Hatchery. Um, I, my mom has been ordering chicks from Murray McMurray Hatchery for 20 years. That's probably, that's probably about accurate. The first few years we did just hatch our own. Um, we've done chicks every way. Um, even our, even our meat birds come from McMurray Hatchery. Um, and I have raised uh, meat chickens for, I mean, I, I did it growing up for well over a decade. Um, once we started getting a little bit bigger and consuming more food, my mom also does not like all the growth hormones, so we feed non-medicated food, and we were trying to get away from that. So, that being said, I've got, I've got a little experience with chickens, and knowing we needed to order early wasn't an issue i did attempt to order early and i was unable to obtain chicks in a reasonable amount of time um i ended up not ordering from mcmurray Marie mcmurray for the first time in my life i ended up ordering from i want to say meyer that or that's where my mom ended up ordering from this year Okay, I just confirmed it is Meyer Hatchery. I didn't want to order five of each hen, and there were certain varieties that I wanted. We have two Aryukana Thai mix, three ISA Browns, and two gray chicks. <laughs> this sounds so bad. They're two gray chicks. They look like blue Andalusians, but they're not. They're not a white egg layer. They're brown egg layer. Our goal is to have enough for us and then some, and then sell the rest. Um because his parents rely on our eggs too. Um, so we'd like to kind of just bump it up a little bit and hopefully 
we're adding a cockerel and hopefully in the future we'll have some broody hens um, which is the ultimate goal this year we ordered um, we are doing meat birds they are going to be um, hatched we are ordering eggs and we're going to hatch um, meat birds at probably about 25 is what we're kind of planning on um, and we're gonna get them a little later in the year for a for a fall butcher so I'm gonna kind of cover what I ordered and I wrote it down because I can't remember stuff um, I ordered one blue Americana um, because I wanted one they lay nice like uh, very like the like, like, like a blue egg um, I ordered a splash Moran that's gonna lay a dark brown egg not quite as dark as the black hopper Moran which I ordered one of those of I wanted that dark brown egg I also ordered a silver silver spangled Hamburg a smaller bird lays a crisp white egg so Andy wanted a white egg because we don't have any um, and a green queen because you can never go wrong with a green egg layer we also ordered a speckled Sussex cockerel as far as um, coop we're gonna need to expand our coop that is in that is our next project right after logging the hillside for getting more light onto the orchard and there's a bunch of dead oak trees down there that need to be taken down we're going to be doing that and then we're gonna be moving directly on to building a new chicken coop and a chicken tractor for the Cornish cross um, with the birds our, our overall goal put some meat in the freezer with the meat chickens some eggs we're gonna hopefully focus on water glassing some eggs we're building a new um, nesting box we're gonna try uh, something a little different out so hopefully the eggs are cleaner um, we need to have the chicken coop built by the end of July so the chicks come in at the end of July um, we are going to be raising them in a box in the basement um, for a couple weeks until they gain feathers at time because we're not getting them until the end of July which is an awful time to get chicks and especially where it gets so cold here I'm assuming we're going to wind up with a heat lamp in the chicken coop next winter um, I'd like to secure the birds but it's not fine and sealed I can't be guaranteed that we even get the birds but regardless we're gonna build the coop and the tractor the eggs will get that'll be easy enough I'm sure um, there's more of a guarantee on chicken eggs, uh, hatching eggs, than there are obviously chicks. So, I mean, worse comes to worse, we might end up having to hatch our own chicks next year. Um, we might just order eggs. I don't know. We'll see. Apparently, the price of incubators and the availability has really come down. They were a lot more expensive back in the day when we got, we had a still air manual turn, and that was still kind of like expensive. Um, that was really kind of it as far as, um, the chicks go. So I will, we'll do some videos on building the chicken coop and the chicken tractor and going over like the, the ideas of how we're going to put that stuff to use. If there are any videos that you guys would like to see, like, let me know, um, unprovoked, just let me know in the comments down below. It doesn't have to be related to this video, anything gardening, chicken, homesteady, you just if you want to if you want to hear get a video on it like even canning um, or you know stuff like that like food preservation traditional cooking I'm a traditional cook um, so like anything recipes you name it just let me know in the comment section down below and I'd be happy to film something um, content ideas are always great but anyways I think I've rambled enough in this video and I'd like to thank you for listening um, I hope you guys have an amazing day and as always, happy planting.